shall never, ever say hello again. However, it's interesting, once you start realizing the bigger picture, the bigger game, you can see the contracts you sign. Anybody suffer traumas here? Really seriously traumas? Where your whole life's turned up suddenly? Quite a few actually. How, how, did, uh, how do you see those traumas now? Invaluable. Oh. Stepping stone for your life. Oh. Did you see, see it as that at the time? No. <laughs> no. It was devastating. Sure, it was hell on earth. Oh, no. That would be a good thing, actually. Oh, how many of us actually suffered real trauma? Quite a lot. So, what we you place, what category would you place yourselves in, having gone through those traumas, like to see it come through the other end? Well, what was the point? Some were total breakdown in marriages. Devastating enough. Health, total breakdown. Burnout. Financial wipeout. Anybody resonate with any of those? All of them. All of them. So, what's the point? What's the purpose? Leads you to spirituality and a different way of thinking and seeing and understanding the world. Yeah, and good answers. Well, if you're not paying attention, then you want to kick you in your ass to get you going. Well said. Well said, because in 1986, doing well in South Africa, under apartheid, but I like apartheid, so I can. Just preparation as well. For? Preparation for a message or something that's coming ahead. A lot of the trials and the Tribulation. Yeah. Is that part of the contract you signed, you think? Yeah. Prior to reincarnating? I think so. For what purpose? To make you stronger. Thanks. So that you can be together. Very good, yeah. Maybe to repeat a lesson you didn't learn in the last life. Okay. Don't repeat it because you just come back again. You will. So, could that mean you need to be a leader on earth in these times? That you've had to go through that? Yes. So that you can be a shining example for people that are going to go through it. And more so as we lead up to 2012. And so you can understand other people when they're complaining about the things that you can say, yes, I've been there, I understand. Brilliant. So are you maybe light workers? Indigo children, yes. star seeds. Yes. Okay. In that case, how many of you believe in UFOs? In you know what? UFOs, unidentified flying objects. You see, now we're starting to get to where we've been so conditioned. Do we go over that line? Do we go over that line? Well, I have. I'm going to explain to you why I have. Because of the contract. Because I went against the contract. How many of you believe in aliens? How do aliens get you? Probably in UFOs. So you believe in UFOs. How many believe in ETs, extraterrestrials? Do you think they're the same thing? Yeah. Alien to me means you're not meant to be here. Oh, like Mexicans are called yeah. illegal aliens, right? Oh, oh, yeah. ETs, extraterrestrials, perhaps created this in the first instance. Yeah. Maybe they have every right to be here. Maybe we're the lost children of the star ancestors. And that's when I got a message in 1986. 